Welcome to video number three of the CDHVC Registrant Intranet tutorial video series. This video will provide an overview of your learning plans. On the left hand side of the home page, click on the online learning plans section, which will direct you to your online learning plan dashboard. Next, follow the My Plans tab. On this page, you can see your required learning plans have been auto-populated by the results of your QAP assessment tool. The title of each learning plan corresponds to the subcategory assigned. As you can see here, the subcategories assigned was B1 and D6. As you progress through each required learning plan, the area on the right tracks your completion status of each component. Below is an area to create self-directed learning plans. The college encourages registrants to develop self-directed learning plans as part of their ongoing commitment to lifelong learning and professional development. However, they are not mandatory. We are going to demonstrate how to complete a learning plan with a required learning plan that has not been started. Let's begin by clicking here. For each required learning plan, begin by clicking on the Edit Goal and Action Plan. On this page, you can see your plan name has been auto-populated. Next, select the number of activities you will need to complete within this required learning plan. You can follow the eye icon for more information on how many activities to assign. In the field below, you will enter your Goal and Action Plan. Please remember to ensure that you are setting goals and action plans in the SMART format. This refers to them being specific, measurable, action-oriented, realistic, and timely. For a breakdown of what that should look like, download the Tips for Setting SMART Learning Goals and Action Plans from the Help and Resources page. The action plan should include a list of activities that are intended to fulfill the goal. You can view the QAP Learning Activity and Credit Framework for details on the types of activities that qualify for continuing competency credits. Ensure to save your work as you go by clicking the Save button. Once you have added activities as described in video number 4, you can link those activities to your required learning plan as shown here. You can see the list of activities you have previously entered and can link by clicking the button. You can now see that this activity has been linked to this learning plan B1. Once you have finished the learning activities linked to this plan, you will need to write a reflection based on the overall learning you have accomplished as part of this plan by clicking here. A reflection should incorporate the key points learned during the activities, how you've met your goal, and how you have or will incorporate this into your dental hygiene practice. Ensure to save your work. As all of the plan components are met, you will see your progress with the green check marks in the purple column. The last step is to mark the plan as complete once you are finished. To leave this page, click on the My Plans tab. Now you can see the summary of your required learning plans. Now let's take a look at the optional self-directed learning plan. You may choose to create a self-directed learning plan if you feel that creating goals and action plans supports your continued learning. To add a self-directed learning plan, click here. On this page, you are able to fill in the information associated with your self-directed learning plan. Here, you can customize your plan name, select a subcategory, the QAP content subcategories are listed as a drop-down box, so you can choose a subcategory applicable to your self-directed learning plan. Choose the number of activities and enter a goal and action plan. Click on the Save button to continue. Similar to your required learning plan, you will link one or more activities and add a reflection once the learning is complete. If you choose to leave the registrant intranet, you may do so and return to your plans at any point. Click on the My Plans tab to show your progress within each learning plan. At the end of your five-year QAP cycle, 
all required learning plans must be complete. This completes video number three, learning plans. Please view the rest of the videos in the tutorial video series to continue exploring the registrant intranet.